What is a decision-making bias? Let's find out. Peter was looking for a pencil when he realized his pencil box was missing. As he searched for the pencil box, he remembered an incident that his friend Adam had described to him. Adam had heard that their classmate Eva once stole another student's lunchbox. Peter now suspected Eva of stealing his pencil box. Though he had no evidence, Peter thought Eva was the culprit based on what Adam said. Can we say that Peter has come to the right conclusion? Let's analyze Peter's thought process with the help of a decision tree. Here's the first question. Did Peter find his pencil box? The answer is no. Now there are two possibilities. Someone could have stolen the pencil box or Peter could have misplaced it. Assume the pencil box was stolen. Then we could say Eva stole it if we were to rely on Adam's claim that Eva once stole a lunchbox. Alternatively, we can say someone else stole the pencil box since it was lying unattended. If no one stole the pencil box, what else could have happened? Peter could have dropped it somewhere, left it in the library when he went there before class, lent it to someone, and so on. Even though there were many possibilities, Peter decided that Eva had stolen his pencil box based on Adam's unproven claim that Eva had stolen before. Even if Eva did steal before, we cannot say without a doubt that she stole Peter's pencil box. We can say that Peter's thinking was biased because he did not consider other relevant information that could explain the cause of the missing pencil box. Decision-making bias is a systematic error in thinking that occurs when people analyze data selectively. There are many types of decision-making biases. For example, an anchoring bias means an over-reliance on the first piece of information. A confirmation bias involves listening to information that confirms your preconceived notions. Another type of bias is the bandwagon effect, where you do things because everyone else is doing it. Then, there is the zero-risk bias, which means that you ignore risks to feel safe. Peter's thought process shows a confirmation bias. He selectively looked at the data about his lost pencil box, which confirmed his preconceived notions about Eva. In our session, we will learn more about these biases.